What's going on everybody? DJ Goham Gaming here bringing you a product spotlight for New Holland in Farming Simulator 17. Now, of course I play on the Xbox One, so everything that I bring you today is going to be geared towards Xbox One and PlayStation 4 since they share virtually everything. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the store. New Holland right here. Let's go to the beginning. We have the T5. You can get a front loader attachment. Engines, you get the 100 and the 120. Wheel setup, standard, narrow tires, wide tires. That is it. The 8340, you can get a front loader attachment. And wheel setup, standard, or wide tires. That is it. For the T6, you can get a front loader. You have the T6 140, the 160, and that is it. And for wheels, you have standard and narrow tires. That is it. The T7 Heavy Duty engine setup, you can get a 290, a 315, and that is it. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, twin wheels, rear twin wheels, and back to standard again. The T8, you get a 320, a 380, a 435, and that is it for that one. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, crawler track, and twin wheels and rear twin wheels. Moving on the T9, you get a 480, 565, and those are the only two engine setups for that. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, twin wheels, and that is it. Moving on to the smaller harvester, the TC590. No customization for that. The CR1090. Again, no customization for this one either. Headers, you got your corn header, your 980 CF6R with a working width of 4.5 meters. Your other corn header is the 980 CF12 with a 9 meter working width. Your normal crops, as I would call them, you got your Verifeed 18 foot, you got the Verifeed 41 foot, and you have the Superflex Draper 45 foot. Now, the Superflex Draper 45 foot has something that the other headers do not, and it has wheels built in. It has its own header trailer built into it. Um, so that may be worth the price if you can afford the harvester. Uh, Forge Harvester, you have the FR850. Has no customization, but it is a workhorse. And there are, I believe, four different things for it. You got the 300 FP, which this will basically take things from off the ground and shoot them into the back. But it'll only do grass and hay. Um, now you have the mower, which is what I consider the 600 FDR. Um, it will do wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, and grass. Basically, it cuts all that up and turns it into chaff. Then you have the 900 SFI um, harvesting header, forage harvest header. Uh, this does corn, so if you're looking to use corn as chaff, which most people do, then this is going to be your choice right here. And then you have the 130 FB, which does poplars. Now, we have a sprayer, which has a working width of... 36 meters. It is huge and it has row crop tires already, so you don't have to worry about adding any. Mowers, we have the Disc Mine 313. No customization on that, um, but it's really cool. Um, if you can see the arm that comes out and attaches to the trailer, that will swing side to side. So when it's attached, you can either have it on the left side of your tractor or the right side or right behind it following along. Um, works great if you have, um, I believe it's the, oh gosh, I don't know what it's called, but it's it basically you can put two things on it at one time and it is really cool. It turns into like an ultimate mower setup. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we have the Roll Belt 150, which does hay, straw, and grass, and it will put them into round bales. And then you have the Big Baler 1290, um, which is about double the price almost. Um, and this is a square baler, and it does the same things, hay, straw, and grass. Now, we're getting into our mod section. Uh, I have looked through extensively and downloaded what I believe to be is all of the New Holland mods. Uh, we have the Big Baler BB9090, 
um, design you have standard or trailer attacher. Um, so you can attach a trailer to the back of this. You could do the stack um, or you can do a uh, automatic pickup, something like that. Then we have the Big Baylor 960A. There are no customizations for this. However, this is very interesting because you can fit 4,500 liters into one bale. Every other baler will do 4,000 in the entire game for console. Really, really cool. Moving on, we have our telehandler, the LM742. No customization for this, but it is awesome. This is actually what I use as my camera boom as well for the videos. <coughs> Excuse me. W170C. This is our wheel loader. There's no customization for this, but it is a workhorse for sure. And then rounding out, we have the TS series, which is a smaller tractor. We could do front loader. Engines TS90. The TS90 Fiat Agri, and if you see Fiat Agri on these, basically it just turns the truck or the tractor into a red tractor. Um, we have the TS100 with the Fiat Agri, the 110 with the Fiat Agri, the 115 Turbo, the 115 Turbo Fiat Agri, and then back to the beginning. We'll set up so we have standard, standard low profile tires, wide tires, wide low pro profile tires, narrow tires, standard. Standard low-profile tires, wide tires, and we are back to the beginning again. Design, no fenders, only front fenders, only rear fenders, or all fenders. Pretty cool. Clean windows and tinted windows. Uh, I normally keep everything clean just to keep it all the same across the board. This is virtually every bit of that with the exception of one thing, I believe. Um, we are going to move on to seeing the different wheel types on the trailers next. Tractors. Wheel types on the tractors. Yes. Now, I have put together a plethora of tractors for you guys. Every single one that I could find that I can put some type of customization on or change something. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out which tractors you can put a front loader on. Um... First up right here, we have the, I believe this is the T5. Yes, the T5 with the smaller stole. We have the T6 with the larger stole, the 60. And it is blue because the arms are blue. So decided to do that. Over here, we have the, this is the 8340. Yes, 8340. And then we have the TS series. This is the TS90. Moving on over here to wheel types. We have narrow tires. In narrow tires, we have the T5. We have the TS series. This happens to be the TS90. We have the T6. And the SP400F, the sprayer. Moving on to wide tires, we have the T5 with wide tires. We have the 8340 with wide tires. I believe it looks way better with wide tires than standard. We have the TS with wide tires. These are huge. It makes this tractor look enormous. We have, I believe this is the T7 with wide tires. And the T8 with wide tires. Moving on to wheel weights, tractors with wheel weights. We have the T7 with wheel weights. We have the T8 with wheel weights. And we have the T9, the big boy, with wheel weights, front and rear wheel weights on this guy right here. Moving on to dual rear. We have the T7 and the T8. This is the T7 with rear duels and the T8 with rear duels. 
I'm not sure what it is. The T8 to me looks just a little long in the middle. Obviously, it's bigger engine, bigger bigger tractor. Um, this has to be my favorite New Holland T7. It just looks so good. Moving on to dual tires, we have the T7, which looks absolutely incredible. We have the T8. Again, fantastic looking tractors here. And the T9, the big boy. This is as big as it gets right here. This is the big guy. And then to round everything out, we have the trailers, or the tractors, keep saying trailers, the tractors that you can get with tracks. We have the T8 with rear tracks. And then we have the CR1090. The Harvester has tracks on the front. So, that rounds out all of our tractors. Oh, and uh, I believe I missed our front loaders here. As you see, this is our telehander there, the LM742. And our wheel loader, the W170C. Both of these are mods. Up next, we're going to be checking out some forge harvesters. So for console, we only have one New Holland forge harvester. However, we have four different connectors for it. So... Let's take a look at those. First, we have the collector right here. I believe this is the 300 FP. What this does is it will collect things off the ground, push it through, chop it up, and spit it out. Next, I believe over here, we have the 600 FDR. This is a mower. I don't know if you can see inside there or not. Um, it basically chops up things that you can mow and turns them into chaff. Then all the way over here, sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy, we have the 900 SFI. This is the corn harvester. This turns corn into chaff, so you can make silage. It is humongo. And then to round it out, we have the 130 FB. This is for poplars. Pretty cool. Again, we only have one Forge Harvester, so I have used the same one for all of these. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at our regular harvesters. Here we have our normal harvesters. Now, with New Holland, we only have two. We have the TC590, which are the two on the left, and then the three on the right are the CR1090. Um, I have opened the last two on the right, and I have opened this guy right here, so you can see what it looks like. Now... Let's do a little roundabout, check these out. This is the TC590. Obviously has a smaller smaller boom arm here. Can't remember what that's called for the life of me. So this header right here is the 980CF corn header. It also does soybean. No, not soybeans. Sunflowers, yes. I'm sure you are all beating your head against the computer right now. <laughs> Jumping over here real quick, we have the 980CF12R corn and sunflower header. I just about said soybeans again. I would not use this header on this harvester. It is just way too big. Um, I have put the headers on the tractors that I believe... Um, that I believe fit them the best and fit them the most well, if you will. Here we have the Verifeed 18-foot. Over here, on this guy, we have the Verifeed 41-foot. The only difference between the two, obviously, the size. They're exactly the same otherwise, and you will need a header trailer for both of these. Now, to the big boy... The biggest one of all. It is enormous. On our CR1090 here, we have the Superflex Draper 45 foot. Now, this header has a magic trick, and I want to show you this. It 
You see the wheels popping out down? Boom. We can drop that off. And attach to the back here. Let's see if my backing up skills are very good today. Yes. And we can drive this around. And it is also very agile. Look at that. Look at that turning circle. No crazy, no problems. And we can pull away nice and easy. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Oh, and for those of you wondering how I get my shots, this is my camera boom right here. The Telehandler LM742. I extend it all the way up, jump up there, and then take my screenshot. All right. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at our balers and mowers. All right. We have moved over back to the shop to check out our balers and our mowers. First off, we have the Roll Belt 150. This will make round bales at 4,000 liters each. Next, we have the Big Baler 1290. This is in the base game. This makes square bales. I believe some people call them Heston bales as well, but that may be something completely different. Next, we have the Big Baler BB9090. Now this is in a bell pack, and I believe there's four different ones. There's a Fent, a Massey Ferguson, a Challenger, and the New Holland. It's a single axle, and it makes 400 or 4,000 liter square bales. This baler and this baler are exactly the same. They do the same thing. Whichever one's cheaper, buy it, unless you just like the look of one over the other. Here we have something special. The Big Baler 960A. This is a square baler. It's very old, but what's different is it makes bales that are 4,500 liters. No other baler in the game does that. It is very, very cool. And what is even more cool is they are no larger than the other square bales that are made. Pretty sweet. So, if you're trying to get a little bit more out of your crop, get this guy right here. It may not look the best, but you will be happy with the results. Here we have our mower, our disc bind 313. Like I was saying, you can move this guy from left to right behind your tractor. It is pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty wide as well. Now, with mowers, I've included the 600 FDR. It's forage harvesting header because it will mow grass. So, it does what this does. However, I believe that it spits it into the trailer as chaff. Um, I will have to double check that, and if I've made a mistake, then I will let you guys know down in the comments about that. Now, have we covered everything? I believe we have covered everything that we needed to do. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have learned something about New Holland. Uh, I am going to attempt to upload a product spotlight video once a day. However, it may be less than that, and who knows, we may have more than that. So, if you're a New Holland fan, I hope you've enjoyed. If you're not a New Holland fan, I hope you've enjoyed anyway. And I hope you guys have a great day, we'll see you later. Peace.